I'm joined by Paul Donan. Who did it? Donan. Or oh, Donan. Hello, mate. How you doing? Cheers. Come here, cheers. I am on actually TV. You're on cheers. Cheers, but I've got water. Oh, and a coffee. That's You've got everything. Yeah. Right. You and me, we're both in showbiz, weren't we? Yeah. Were you in showbiz? Yes, you I were. Was. You were a brilliant. Yeah. You are a brilliant actor. Oh, thanks, bro. You are. Yeah. I, so I got done. Showbiz is a pretty. What? Okay. So let's start. What? Why do you want to be in it? Why did you want to be seen by people and oh, regarded question. by them? Um, because I suppose I like affirmation, and I like to be liked. And when I believe in it, like that, I have a, like a talent and a and a love. Really, it's not even that I believe about. I believe in what I do. I believe that I can act. I believe that I can play roles, and I believe that when I do that, it gives me something else. Yeah. Anything like, but like more than anything could give you. It's the most amazing buzz and the most amazing feeling. And when it's re- re- received or reciprocated, or yeah. uh, it's it feels brilliant. That's. I mean, that's exactly it, isn't it? It's that feeling. Do you think there's something that, um, so, you know, you were acting for a long time, you've had some... And I'll do anything for it, but you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's not for fame. It's nothing to do with fame. No, it's for... It's, it's to do it's, with the craft. It's a, but it's also a hit. It's, yeah, it's, it, yeah. In a way, you know, you stand on a stage or you do a good take or, you you, you know, you just yeah. feel like... Um, I, I, yeah. I, you feel like you're channelling yeah. something that goes through into something else. I'm proud of myself. and it, I think it, what it is, it's like that realisation that I... I can do this, and I'm actually pretty good at it. And actually, that really felt like I was good at it. Yeah. Because sometimes I doubt myself. Yeah. Sorry. No, 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 that's amazing. So, um, I have I've, I've exactly the same sensation when I was allowed to do it. I'm now no longer allowed to do it, which is a shame. Um, well, you're not allowed to act. No, they don't let me do acting. I got to do a bit of acting for a bit, but anyway, that's another story. This is about you, it's not about me. You can me. be in anything I produce. Or... Yeah, well, I will. I saw, saw your Netflix thing, so I'm ready. Yeah. Right, so you had some, you've had some difficulties. You've been uh, through drugs and alcohol. Through and, drugs. So you've been, you've been right the way through drugs. It's, 17 it's not, times. Yeah, I've, I mean, it's not, yeah, I've been through... But can I just, I just want to get to this thing. Good. Part of our personalities as givers and receivers of affirmation is definitely going to be connected with yeah. that need for instant yeah. hit. And I'll tell you, yeah. you know, I didn't go yeah. where you went particularly, but I certainly went some other places. Yeah. So now you've, you've been there, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about. You, it seems like you're very close to getting back and then something's kicked in. So the lockdown came and you were, I mean, for viewers at home, I'm sorry, I'm not very good at explaining stories and stuff, but you had a, some issues with Coke, Ain. And lock, the lockdown came and you were, you'd been clean for how long? Yeah, no, no, I have, I have issues with me, right? Something to do with Coke, it could be anything. Right. So it's addiction. It's yeah. addiction, it's a disease. I'm not comfortable, I'm at disease with myself and my drug of choice would be to go, the, the biggest one, to cocaine. Yeah. But it don't start there. It starts with little things. Shopping, food, women, whatever. And it builds and it builds and it wants to take me to the pinnacle one. And the pinnacle one ruins my life. Ruins everything, my family, my friends, my work, everything. So that's the worst thing. But actually, if you turn it around, when it gets that bad, it's like, I don't want to go back there. I know what that's like. So I always... Yeah, I never give up. I go and ask for help, and I get help around it. And so brave to just be straight up about it. Yeah. I mean, I, the thing that I admire most, I've got a lot of friends who've recovered, uh, are in recovery. Sorry, you never recover. But um, and I just admire the honesty so much. So you've taken a pretty uh, bleep situation, and you've turned it into something positive. So yeah. what are you doing now? Right. So thank you, Lawrence. So what's happened is the uh, the superpower of ADHD basically gave me the focus of what I love and what I do, but I needed confidence for that. And I needed people to go, well, you know what, that guy that used to knock on doors and get Holly Oaks and Kate Moss adverts and things like that, where is he? So he's gone. Like, his drugs have ripped that away from me. But it hasn't ripped away from me. What's the... This was, was, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. So this was a couple of years ago. And I said, well, it hasn't gone. It's always there. I just need that boost. I need that confidence. And someone just believed in me. So I did. And I reached out and I, I moved to Bristol got away from London life, 
And I basically said, right, I want to start a theatre company for mental health, for people in recovery or that are struggling and need somewhere to go to build their confidence back up. And, and it, whether they're ADHD, Asperger's, blooming, whatever, you know, autism, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Or whether they're addicts or whether they're alcoholics or whatever you want to call it, they can come. And even people that are just a little bit unconfident and have a bit of anxiety can come. If you want to act, come. Because I tell you what, it's the most therapeutic thing to do, to get up, improvise, and just play someone else. It's a healthy escape. I agree with you 100%. So uh, tell us what we're, where people can find out about what you're doing. So basically, I started a company called MAD, uh, Morning After Drama, and um, I've just come from a class in Oxford in a really uh, uh, run-down area called Barton, where the teenagers have witnessed gun crime, um, knife crime, they've witnessed stabbings and this, that and the other, and they're traumatised at the age of 13. And they come to my class and we talk and we get comfortable and we end up doing a bit of acting and they love it and it takes them away from that trauma. And I'm doing it in Bristol for people on probation. I'm oh. doing it in prisons. And, and people, and they're all there because they don't, they don't want to be like that. They're just a bit unwell and they don't yeah. know why. But also you have to then set the example. Uh, uh, the, the man in my ears saying, going, come on. Oh, you've got to go because they're moving on to the next thing. We ain't going nowhere, Lawrence. We ain't going nowhere, yeah, me can, and you. I know, I'll stay for a pint with you after, but can I just say I cheers to you. I'm not, <laughs> but, yes, with whatever pop, you're drinking, whatever. coffee. But no, but thank you. But cheers to you yes. because you are, I, what I love and inspires me the most is to see the look of commitment and determination. Yeah, I really am. I really am. Morning after drama 